Are you by any chance John and Isabella's son? One and the same. Your commission is with Edward Braddock, is it not? Aye. But he's yet to reach America, and I figured I might... Well, at least until he arrives, I thought... Yes? Out with it? Forgive me, sir. I had... I had hoped that I might study under you. If I am to serve the Order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Kind of you to say. But I think you overestimate me. Impossible, sir. This way. Boston's quite a lively city. There's all manner of things to see and do. Once you've settled in, I suggest you take some time to walk the streets. Who knows what opportunities you might discover. Hold a moment. I need to fetch a few things before we get to work. I'll arrange for horses while you do that. This accursed city will be the death of me. You seem troubled, friend. That's because I am. Greatly so, in fact. My hair would like... for the Green Dragon Tavern. The proprietors are eccentric, but the rooms are spacious and they do not cry. Have you been told why it is I've come to Boston? No, Master Birch said I should know only as much as you saw fit to share. He sent me a list of names and bade me ensure you could find them. And have you had any luck with that? Aye, William Johnson waits for us at the Green Dragon. How well do you know him? Not well. But he saw the Order's mark and did not hesitate to come. Prove yourself loyal to our cause. And you may yet know our plans as well. I should like nothing more, sir. You lying, cheating, no good son of a bitch. Perhaps we've come at a bad time. Sir, William Johnson. A pleasure. A good lad, if a bit earnest.
get into position. But wait for me to take the first shot. You two, clear off! Thank <laughs> you. 